There are 10 compulsory core Commonwealth Games sports, as host city Glasgow have chosen a further seven, one of which is judo. Glasgow 2014 will see judo hosted for the third time in the Commonwealth Games history, uh, previously hosted in 1990 and in Manchester in 2002. One of the key Commonwealth judo moments could undoubtedly be the gold medal winning performance of Simone Callender, representing Team England in 2002 at Manchester. And we're lucky enough to have Simone here as part of our team planning the Glasgow 2014 judo competition. As judo hasn't been contested since Manchester, Simone Callender is actually the reigning 78 kilo champion. It's a title she won't be defending though, instead lending her expert knowledge to help Glasgow stage a world-class judo event. Each weight category has different things that they bring. In the lighter weight categories, you have your agility and your speed, and then the heavier weight categories, you have your strength and your power. So it just brings different elements to the judo. So all the weight categories are exciting in different ways. Looking to compete for Scotland are two Glaswegian siblings who combine their international training with teaching the next generation of judo stars. The Rennick sisters both used to fight in the 52 kilo category, but with the Commonwealth Games on the horizon, they changed their game plan. All through juniors, I was um, 52 kilos, which is the second lightest weight. On 2009, I decided to come down a weight category to 48, which is the lightest weight, which meant that I wouldn't be fighting my sister anymore. And it meant that both of us had the chance to go and fight in the Commonwealths at a weight each, and we'd both get to see each other. There's a lot of tactics in judo. It would be brilliant if we could just go in and do all the, the lovely techniques, but it's, we're all different shapes, different sizes, so it's, you need to learn how to move. That's the main thing, is to move and break balance and then do your, your judo from there. The judo competition will take place at the Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre, one of Glasgow's shining lights in terms of multi-purpose venues. For our games, we'll be installing a temporary platform which will have the judo mats on top of it and the grandstand seats will go around it. So we'll create the amphitheatre, the performance in which the athletes will be able to perform. The Scottish Exhibition and Conference Centre is on the banks of the River Clyde. The precinct also houses the Clyde Auditorium and the SSE Hydro. With six sports being hosted there, including judo, the precinct is set to be buzzing at games time. The fans don't realise how much they lift you as an athlete and sort of drive you on when, when someone's, you know, stuffed your head into the floor for the sixth time. But then the crowd get up and cheer you on as though you're still winning and that can sometimes just turn the tide and just give you that lift that you need to just have everyone behind you. It's just amazing. The Glasgow 2014 Judo programme will involve 14 medal events and that will involve seven weight categories for men and seven weight categories for women. Typical to a judo competition, there'll be two bronze medals awarded in each weight category, so that means it will have four medalists standing on the medal podium at the end of the Games. The event I'm most looking forward to is a personal choice, the plus 78 kilograms. It would be nice to see who takes my crown. That would be an interesting one to watch. I'm not going to say it won't be hard for me not to run on and try and disrupt the fight so that I stay champion, but Scotland have a very strong team, really good medal chances, potentially get a medal in every weight category. If we keep putting the work in, we should be in that final day. Both of us should be walking out there in the final on the day. It's a journey, and we are still going through that journey until, that, until we move into the, the village. It feels like a jigsaw. When I look at that jigsaw, it's the gold medal around my neck along with everything else that's, that's, um, that's Glasgow's made good. <laughs>